Over the course of the last couple of months, I've tried to profile town hall events and how there is a tremendous amount of momentum when it comes to the issue of single-payer health insurance. So there's been people that are showing up at town halls of both Republican and Democratic congressmen and women and demanding that they co-sponsor H.R. 676. And if they are a senator, then they're telling them to get on board with a single-payer health care system and co-sponsor Bernie Sanders' bill when he does, in fact, introduce it. And now with 112 co-sponsors of John Conyers' bill, it is now the case that a majority of House Democrats support single-payer health care, but there is a few holdouts. So one of them that you know about is Representative Denny Heck of Olympia, Washington, and on April 14th, I talked about how he refused to support a single-payer health care system. I called him, and then I urged my viewers to do the same, and he then received hundreds, if not thousands, of calls but after two months, he has yet to co-sponsor H.R. 676. So he has voters around the country reaching out to him. He has people showing up to town halls telling him to co-sponsor H.R. 676, and he's not listening. But he's not alone. So on May 19th, I talked about Representative Ruben Cahuen, who had a grieving mother show up to his town hall and begged him to co-sponsor H.R. 676, but he looked her in the face and told her no. Now, I called his office, and thousands upon thousands of my viewers called his office, and we know that he got a lot of calls because we actually overloaded his inbox, and we were then forced to direct calls to his DC office. But seeing that a grieving mother's plea didn't move him, it's not too surprising that thousands of phone calls didn't move him either. So, this is unacceptable, and there will be consequences for their actions, so I'm going to give you an update on these two individuals, and first, we're gonna call them, even though it probably won't make that big of a difference, but please feel free to join along. I'm just gonna leave them short voicemails. So first, we'll call Denny Heck at 202-225-9740. Hello, you've reached the office of Congressman Denny Heck. Please leave your name and a brief message, as well as your phone number, email address and address. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you. Record your message after the tone. When you've finished, you can hang up or press 1 for more options. I've called Denny Heck. Thousands of people called Denny Heck. His constituents have called De Denny Heck repeatedly about H.R. 676, and we want him to co-sponsor H.R. 676, and we've been calling him for months, and he is refusing to acknowledge that we even exist or care about this issue. And because of this, we will be trying to primary him in 2018 because his reluctance to support this, we know, is contingent on the fact that he has taken thousands of dollars from the health insurance industry, and that's not acceptable. So if he doesn't co-sponsor H.R. 676, we will be doing everything we can to make sure that he loses his seat. Thank you. Now, when it comes to Ruben Cahuen, his number is 202 225 9894. Ruben Kidman is not available. Record your message after the tone. When you've finished, you can hang up or press 1 for more options. Hello, Ruben Kahwen. We have called you multiple times. You've had thousands of people reach out to you and beg you to co sponsor HR 676. And you told a grieving mother that you would not co-sponsor it. And now you're avoiding the calls of thousands of people across the country and in your own district. And that's not acceptable. So I'm here to tell you that if you do not co-sponsor HR 676 very soon, there will be a primary challenger and we're going to be kicking you out of office because clearly you're a coward and you don't want to stand up to the health insurance industry and do what a majority of your colleagues have done co-sponsor John Conyers bill this is not negotiable either co-sponsor it or lose your seat it's very simple now when it comes to representative Ruben Cohen I've got some exciting news so when I tell him he's gonna lose his seat I'm not just bluffing I mean he's actually going to get a primary challenger now the good news and I can't talk too much about it is that there are certain organizations that are trying to recruit a primary challenger for Representative Ruben Cohen, and furthermore, uh, I may have found um, a primary challenger based on a contact that I have, so I'll be getting in touch with this individual very soon, and we will make sure we do everything we can to defeat Ruben Cohen because he thinks that he can ignore us and ignore the grassroots. Well, 
you're not going to be able to. Now, when it comes to Denny Heck, however, the same is not true. So here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to ask for all of you, if you live in the 10th district of Washington to run, reach out to me, reach out to Justice Democrats, reach out to brand new Congress and run against him. Um, if you are in this district and you're not happy with his refusal to co-sponsor HR 676, we need you to run. If you're above 25 years of age, you can run. There's no reason why you shouldn't. Uh, because we need someone who's going to get in there and represent the people. And if you plan to represent the people and not take corporate donations, you're qualified. Don't start to doubt yourself. So I'm calling on someone to challenge Denny Heck. If you are interested and you're seriously interested, or you may know someone, email mike at humanistreport.com and I'm willing to hear you out and help you get started. Um, so... That's where we stand now. I'm not just talking about these people and their unwillingness to co-sponsor it because I like ranting. I actually want to make a difference. I want them to co-sponsor H.R. 676, and I'm not stopping until every single Democratic congressman and woman has co-sponsored John Conyers' bill, and then we're still not stopping. Then we're going to move on to Republicans and get them to co-sponsor this bill, too, because we're done taking crumbs. We're done taking incrementalism. It's single payer or bust for us, support it or leave office, and that's what it's come down to. So uh, we can't back down. Please continue to call with me, but know that um, <laughs> calling probably won't do much when it comes to Denny Heck and Ruben Cohen, because usually calling congressmen and women actually has a diff makes a difference, but these people, they just have no regard for what the country wants, and they don't care about the fact that the overwhelming majority of Democratic constituents support single payers, so we're going to do what we can to defeat them, and if we fail in 2018, we're going to try again in 2020, and if we fail again in 2020, we're going to try again in 2022, because we're not backing down until we get single payer health care. Support this podcast by joining the independent progressive media revolution today at humanistreport.com.